Something massive is being carved out of the Nevada desert. Hundreds of workers, miles from the nearest town, are shaping the earth into a vast industrial complex. It's one of the largest new mines ever built in North America. A project so vast it already reshapes the desert itself. But it's not after gold or copper or even oil. It's after something far rarer. Backed by billions in federal and private funding, this remote construction site could redefine how America competes in the new global race for the materials that power our future. So, why is America spending $2 billion to dig a hole in the middle of nowhere? Thacker Pass sits in Humboldt County, northern Nevada, a barren stretch of land where the Great Basin meets the Caldera Rim. At first glance, there's almost nothing here, no rivers, no forests, no skyline. But under this empty landscape lies the remnant of a supervolcano that erupted 16 million years ago. When it collapsed, it formed the McDermott Caldera, a crater more than 40 kilometers wide. Over millions of years, volcanic ash and mineral-rich sediments settled into its basin, slowly creating one of the most valuable geological formations in the Western Hemisphere. Today, that geology is the reason why thousands of machines and workers are transforming this once-forgotten valley into a megaproject unlike anything else in the United States. The Thacker Pass project isn't a typical mining operation. It's a full-scale engineering campaign. Covering nearly 28 square miles, it includes open-pit excavation zones, a massive processing plant, water and power infrastructure, and access roads connecting to U.S. Highway 95. At its peak, construction will involve approximately 1,800 workers, 240-ton haul trucks, and the eventual processing of over 100 million tons of ore across the mine's 40-year operational life. The general contractor, Bechtel, manages the entire site, coordinating civil, structural, and process engineering on a scale usually reserved for airports or power plants. What's being built here isn't just a mine. It's a complex system of industrial facilities designed to run continuously for 40 years in one of the most remote places in America. And there's a reason this project is so far from civilization. Thacker Pass was chosen because of its unique geology, the result of ancient volcanic activity that left mineral-rich clays near the surface. That means no deep tunneling, no high-altitude drilling, and access to material using open-pit techniques. It also means the entire build can be supplied with on-site quarrying, where thousands of tons of rock are crushed and reused for haul roads, embankments, and structural foundations. Every cubic yard removed here stays in the project, a closed-loop design that reduces outside sourcing and heavy truck transport. To support that, temporary concrete batch plants, fuel depots, and workshops have all been established on-site, effectively creating a city in the desert. When engineers describe Thacker Pass, they don't talk about a mine. They talk about infrastructure. Because here, almost nothing existed before construction began. No power grid, no water systems, no housing. So before any excavation could start, crews had to first build the foundations of civilization itself. A new 230 kilovolt transmission line now stretches across the desert to power the site. Fresh access roads cut through the basin, and the first phase of the site's workforce hub, a modular housing complex in Winnemucca, is now taking shape. Lithium Americas reports that mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems are being installed, with the first workers expected to move in by late 2025. Until then, construction crews live in temporary camps that endure the full range of Nevada's high desert extremes. In summer, machinery operates in heat exceeding 104 degrees Fahrenheit, equivalent of a 40 degrees Celsius. By dawn, frost can cover the valley floor. It's a constant race between climate, altitude, and time, a challenge that pushes both machines and people to their limits. Thacker Pass isn't a private endeavor. It's part of a national strategy to rebuild domestic industrial capacity. In 2025, the U.S. Department of Energy finalized a $2.26 billion federal loan to finance construction, the largest single investment in a mining project in American history. The deal also include a 5% equity stake, giving the federal government partial ownership and ensuring taxpayer protection in this unprecedented investment. The funding comes through the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Program, a mechanism typically used for large-scale infrastructure and manufacturing projects. But it's not just public money fueling this. General Motors invested $650 million, securing a 38% stake in the mine's first phase, a deal that gives GM exclusive access to its lithium supply for decades to come. 
Together, the Department of Energy and GM have turned Thacker Pass into a test case for something bigger, a new kind of industrial policy where government and private industry work side by side to rebuild the materials backbone of America's clean energy future. Every day, convoys of haul trucks move earth and aggregate across the construction site, shaping the ground for the processing complex that will anchor the mine. <laughs> Massive drills bore into volcanic clay to test foundations and prepare for the first production benches. Dozers carve terraces and access ramps hundreds of meters wide, each mapped and surveyed with centimeter-level accuracy using drones and LIDAR, or part of Bechtel's digital site management system. Even the future waste rock and tailings areas are being engineered like architectural structures, with drainage layers and containment systems designed to last for decades. It's the kind of precision construction usually seen in airports or hydro projects, applied here to a mine still taking shape. Out here, everything operates in cycles, 24 hours a day. Crews rotate on two-week shifts, living in modular housing units powered by diesel generators and solar arrays. On-site workshops keep hundreds of vehicles running in the dust and wind. Fuel convoys arrive weekly, bringing tens of thousands of gallons to keep the site moving. There's a quiet rhythm to it. Daylight brings the noise of engines. Sunset brings the silence of the desert. This place runs like a living organism, a temporary city that exists purely to build something permanent. Unlike most mines, the process here doesn't rely on drilling deep into bedrock. Instead, engineers will extract and refine the mineral directly from clay formations near the surface, using a series of crushing, leaching, and filtration steps. It's a new method, one that combines conventional mining with chemical engineering. Conventional lithium extraction from salt brines that can take 12 to 18 months of evaporation. The clay processing method here operates continuously, taking raw material from the pit to battery grade product in a matter of days. If successful, it could open access to similar formations across the Western United States. The site's modular design means new plants can be added over time, adapting to changes in technology and demand. And when complete, this single facility will process more material annually than was moved to build the Hoover Dam, and it will do so every year for the next four decades. For now, though, the focus remains on one thing, building the infrastructure that makes this process possible. For Humboldt County, this construction effort is transforming everything. New roads, utilities, and supply contracts are reshaping local economies that once relied on ranching and seasonal tourism. Officials estimate the project will inject hundreds of millions of dollars into the regional economy over the coming decades. Schools, housing, and small businesses are preparing for an influx of workers. For locals, this mega project isn't just about what's being built here, it's about the future that will grow around it. Across the United States, new mining projects are emerging, some under construction, others in permitting or exploration phases. Thacker Pass doesn't stand in isolation. In Nevada alone, over 80 lithium projects have been proposed, making it the epicenter of America's lithium development boom. Many of these are early stage, seeking to move from exploration to permitting, Elsewhere, proposals are pushing forward across copper, nickel, uranium, and other critical minerals. In 2025, 10 new mineral projects were added to the U.S. Federal Fast 41, permitting dashboard including copper-nickel projects in Minnesota and uranium expansions in New Mexico. One of the more ambitious comparators is the Resolution Copper Project in Arizona. It targets one of North America's largest copper deposits, buried more than a mile beneath the surface. Its scale, complexity, and controversial land trade make it a kind of antithesis to Thacker Pass's surface clay-based approach. On the lithium side, the Tonopah Flats project in Nevada is gaining attention. It recently published a pre-feasibility study showing significant resource potential and investment metrics, putting it in competition for future offtake commitments. Meanwhile, the Rincon project in Argentina is scaling up to produce up to 66,000 tons of battery-grade lithium annually under a $2.5 billion investment. A reminder that globally, the bar is high. By contrast, Thacker Pass is built not only to compete globally, but to anchor one of the first well-funded, large-scale clay-based lithium projects in America. In magnitude, permitting support, and engineering ambition, Thacker Pass is among the boldest in the domestic wave. In the vast emptiness of Nevada's desert, cranes and trucks move across the sand like clockwork. From above, the site looks more like an alien colony than a mine, but what's taking shape here represents something bigger, a return to large-scale ground-up construction in America. 
The Thacker Pass project isn't just about what's extracted from the earth. It's about how a country builds when it decides to build again. And in a place that once symbolized nothingness, America is now proving that even in the middle of nowhere, you can still build something monumental. Out here, in the middle of nowhere, America is digging for its place in a new industrial age. But will it be enough to change the balance of power in the race for the world's most vital resources? Share your thoughts below, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Mega Build stories.